Ford goes awesome with a new rally package for the Fiesta, a tuned dual-clutch Porsche Turbo from Europe, Audi's getting more diesel, I'm not talking steroids, and the new Mazda Miata went on a diet, smaller, lighter, and in our internet rumor mill. Hey guys, my name is Derek D, and yesterday I said it was Monday, but I meant Tuesday, so my bad. You're watching Fastlane Daily. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Yes. So you say you love the Ford Fiesta, but you only wish it looked a little more legit in front of your friends. Guess what? Ford is going to make you look legit. Released yesterday at SEMA, Ford is now offering a rally package for the Fiesta full of safety equipment, 5-speed sequential gearbox, Rager adjustable dampers with iBox springs, competition brakes, roll cage, and new engine upgrades including pistons and camshafts. What that leaves you with is a fully rally prep Fiesta with a 40% boost in power over stock. It's called the Fiesta R2 kit and it's being supplied by Ford and M Sport and will be sold through the O'Neill Rally Driving School. If you buy the package, you'll gain immediate access to the Fiesta Sport Trophy Championship for the two-wheel drive class of 2011. Now, they haven't announced any price yet, but JF asked that if anyone wants to buy one, he'll sell his kidneys and he'll gladly cut himself open and give you one and sell it to you for the rally package. Although, Jay, if you cut yourself open, I believe you'll be dead before you can use the rally package. Now on to FLD's Tuner's Corner. Where is that corner? You are crashing and burning today. <laughs> it's in the, the box. Oh. Let's move on. SEMA is underway in Vegas, but that's not stopping some European-based outlets from releasing their best new items. SpeedArt has another super-tuned Porsche to offer. It's called the SpeedArt BTR 2650 Evo. That's a mouthful. Based off the second generation Porsche 997 Turbo, but this time with 650 horsepower. The difference between this tuned turbo and the others is it comes standard with a PDK transmission. The 150 horsepower increase is enough to cause problems for the stock dual clutch PDK. So SpeedArt is the first tuner to take apart and reinforce the transmission so it can handle that power. Using enhanced materials and metal for the internals of the transmission, this SpeedArt PDK can easily withstand 30% more power and torque. Otherwise, the car is like any other tuned turbo. New wheels, body kit, and customized interior. All these mods push the car to 120 miles per hour in 9 seconds flat and up to a top speed of 208 miles per hour. So to put it bluntly, it's fast. And Automotive News reports that Audi has big plans for diesel in the United States. For the past two years, Audi has only had the A3 and Q7 to offer in diesel variants here stateside. But by 2015, they hope to have every single model offering the alternative engine options. That means we could see the A4, A6, A8, and Q5 offered with diesel engines, but don't expect the R8 to be included in that list. Audi has bigger plans with the all-electric e-tron in that sports car category. Hey, get this. Audi is currently reporting that 50% of all new A3s on the road today are diesel, as well as 40% of all Q7s sold are diesel. This is actually holding back sales for the company because they can't get them to dealerships fast enough. Right now, 5.5% of all Audis sold in the U.S. are diesel, but by 2015, they hope that number rises to 20% with their new diesel models. And now, today's internet rumor mill. Autocar is reporting that the new Mazda Miata MX-5 is confirmed to have a curb weight of 2,200 pounds. Takeo Kojima, who is the project manager for the new car, was quoted as saying, the MX-5 must always be a lightweight sports car. The car got bigger and heavier over the past decade, but it's now time to reverse the process and get back to basics. I'm sure he sounded just like me when he said it. The next generation MX-5, 200 pounds lighter than the current, huh? JF, once again, would like me to inform you that he'll now sell his other kidney so he could buy one of these Miatas as well. But I say again, if you cut yourself open to try to sell your own kidney, you will be dead. Therefore, you will not reap the benefits. All right. Well, on that note, that'll wrap up Fast Lane Daily for today. It's Wednesday, Hump Day. Ian, who's our Hump Day Girl of the Week? She is. She is. What's her name? I, I don't even know. I'm going to give her a name. You look I like... Google some random things. You look like a Janine. <laughs> hey, Janine. I dig you. I do. Hey, Call me a shovel. Because I dig you. This time, I'm gonna kill you. Okay. So you say you love the. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's the knife? <laughs> no rolling. Oh. Cutting? Sure. Oh. Whatever. Let's take this out. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>